are in my territory and I'm a pee everywhere to show you it is mine. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been so long. I was hiking around Vietnam and Laos looking for the Batutu or the Phicong Khoi, which is basically their Bigfoot. It was really exhausting and long and awesome and I'm putting together that now, but uh, I just released the British Bigfoot if you're interested in Bigfoot. Anyway, boring. Okay, here we go. Let's spin the wheel. Okay, here we go. I've actually added more questions because I keep thinking of things and I'm even answering some ghosty questions and alien questions in here, but mostly crypto gold. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did I put this in? Do yaoi's urinate like humans? Okay, I guess that's a biological question we need answering. Let's... let's go <laughs> research that. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm back. I have every bit of information there is about peeing and urinating and whizzing and big feet. So let's go! <laughs> okay, first of all, who dis? Everyone knows what Bigfoot is, I think. And Yaoi is an Australian Bigfoot. They have some remarkably human-like qualities. They can apparently talk or have some sort of language. They have some facial expressions and they walk bipedally. Then there's definitely some animal stuff that they do. Full fur, massive canines, and apparently urinating to mark their territory. So that's obviously important for this question. Uh, humans, as far as I know, don't pee to mark their territory that often. So this is definitely a unique Bigfoot thing. Well, it's not unique to Bigfoot. Many animals do that. That's why your dog is always peeing everywhere. He's marking his territory. But yeah, Bigfoot apparently marks their territory with pee. All right, let's get into it. So scent marking in animals, and presumably Bigfoot, Yowies, is about communication. They're leaving a scent trail, they're leaving a chemical trail, and they're saying to everyone who can smell that, yo, this my territory, back off. And even there's some theories that you could tell a lot about an individual through their pee, if you have the receptors to smell it, like sex, age, maybe even aggressive level like maybe even if they're looking for a mate like it, it, you can tell a lot if you're an animal and you know how to read pee <laughs> but this is why uh turns out a lot of sightings include bigfoot or yaoi's peeing and especially there can be a sighting if you're peeing and a Bigfoot is like, oh hell no, this is my territory, stop marking your territory, this is my territory, and they get pissed. Alright, let's get into sightings. First of all, we're gonna go for the four category, that Bigfoot pee like humans. So, I've got some sightings for you where they were seen peeing like humans. Let's go. Remember, this is just Australia as well, and yaoi's. I'm sure Bigfoot pee like humans too, but that's another question for another time. Okay. 1977. There's a place called Burrawong State Forest in New South Wales, and there was a guy named Tony Bishop. I got very little information about this sighting or about Tony. He was just a guy as far as I'm aware, but he caught a Bigfoot peeing standing up. It was large, hairy, definitely a yaoi, and it was standing against a tree. Very human behavior. You know, when you gotta go, a tree is a good little protection and Mark? I don't know. <laughs> Next we're jumping to 1994 and Kulgalia. Sorry, I'm very... that sounded so Swedish. <laughs> I'll do it with an Australian accent. Kialga. Yeah, that's much better. Kialga Nature Reserve. Nature! Kialga Nature Reserve in Queensland. That's where the sighting was. I got it. In this story, there were two campers and while camping, one night, they saw a yaoi peeing. Now there is no description about how, I know, why, weird, but apparently it left behind a strong foul odour. It was also seen to be peeing right near the campsite, as if, I'd say, marking its territory. You two are in my territory and I'm a pee everywhere to show you it is mine. <laughs> That's all I have on that one. Again, slim pickings. When you type in yaoi peeing, you don't get a whole lot, <laughs> turns out. But the next signing is in 1997 in Katoomba, and it was actually a really, really cool one because it was a whole group of hikers that saw one yaoi crouching peeing, suggesting it was a female, you know? Girls gotta squat. <laughs> the next sighting has its own name, the Gimpy Incident. Gimp... <laughs> Not Gimpy. Yes, Gimpy, sorry. I heard it out loud and I heard Gimp. 
but no, it's Gympie. I think that's how you pronounce it. I think it's in New South Wales. Anyway, the Gympie incident. Not Gimp incident. Gympie incident. 2001. So apparently is a thing called the Gympie Pyramid. That is what they were seeing. I don't know what it is right now, but here's the picture of it. Thanks to the wonders of internet and editing. Uh, it's in Queensland, apparently. Anyway, that's that. And again, there was two people, two men, camping. And they saw a yaoi. They saw that it was peeing against a tree, like a dude would. And then when he got spotted, the yaoi that is, it like scampered away into the bush. I'd say maybe marking their territory. Okay, that is all the four evidence I have for whether yaoi's urinate like humans. I.e. do the men stand and pee, do the women crouch and pee, and also separate question because this is kind of a random question, are they like scent marking? Are they marking their territory? Um, that's all the four column. That's all the information I can find about, yeah, they look like they're kind of peeing like humans. Let's go to the against column. So the against column doesn't actually have any more sightings. It's not like I found sightings where they were peeing upside down or like in a push-up position or anything like that. It's just that these sightings don't extensively describe how these Bigfoot creatures, these Yowies, were peeing. And in some ways that could be considered actually good evidence that they pee like humans because if they were peeing crazy, you'd surely mention it. Like if they were peeing you know, leaning against a tree like this. You would mention that, surely. Um, but the against column is just that there's not enough detail to say definitively. And I guess that makes sense. Like, if you see a Bigfoot and it just happens to be peeing, I don't know if you'd spend a whole lot of that descriptive time of your eyewitness account being like, so, he, uh, he squatted down and, uh, you know. Yeah, I, I get that that's not included. And even if a eyewitness had a great view of a Bigfoot peeing and was like accurately in depth talking about how it was peeing, what it saw, you know, stream, projectile, I don't know. Yuck, okay. I don't know if that stuff is going to be included online, you know? Ooh, it's a little weird to talk about, which is why it begs the question I'm making a whole video on it. <laughs> so in conclusion, do yaoi's pee like humans? I'm gonna say yes, but also they have animal... half animal reasons as well, which is like the whole enigma of a yaoi. Half human, half animal. Well, let's look at the human side. Yeah, they gotta pee. They're an animal. If we go by my theory that they're an animal. If they're a supernatural being, maybe urine just like evaporates from their aura or something. But in my mind, you know, chimps pee, orangutans pee. Oh, I should look at how, how uh, blah, 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 blah. I should look up how they pee. Um, okay, be right back. Okay, so interestingly, a lot of great grape apes on a, a lot of great apes pee squatting. Uh, they have penis bones, unlike humans, so they don't have to, like, even hold on. A lot of them, uh, actually go to ledges and, like, pee off the ledge or even poop off the ledge. Um, but even dudes, even males, will just, like, pop a squat, maybe, like, between two boulders or between two, like, logs and just pee. Which is weird, because humans are different. Gorillas are, like, gorillas, apes, orangutans, uh, also, if you go Google apes peeing, be careful because a lot of them drink their own pee. They like go upside down and they're like, ah, like it's, it's not good. Don't look at that. Anyway, so that suggests that Bigfoot is more like humans than great apes in terms of peeing, especially the ones where they see a, a presumably male standing peeing against a tree. That is like a uniquely human thing, it turns out. I thought maybe chimps did that or gorillas did that, but after some research, nah, mate. So weird. Okay, so more human in the sense that males stand, females sit, not like apes, and more animal in the sense that I think they're probably still territory marking, still scent marking, which humans don't do. Wow, that's really interesting. Who knew? Who knew that pee talk on Bigfoot would be this interesting? Again, we come down to the conclusion that they're half man, half beast. That's so cool. All right, I hope you find that cool too. If not, I'm sorry, just ignore your weird crypto friend 
talking about pee. All right, thank you so much. Um, hope you like this uh, sort of thing. I really like these little videos. They're just nice to just talk about things that no one's talking about. Why is no one talking about pee? All right, <laughs> not, not into pee. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about pee. Anyway, if you want to ask a question, I will put it in the wheel. I've put in all the questions you've asked so far. Uh, you can email them, send them on Facebook, but the most easy one probably for you is just put it in the comments bar and I will slap that right into the wheel. The wheel is bugging out with questions, but one day, with some luck, we can get to yours. All right, um, cool, P. bye.